So for number one, um, because they're both three root, no, yeah, three root three, you would just add straight across and your answer would be six, three root three, because five plus one is six. Then you just keep the three root three. For this one, I want to make them have, like, the number that has the root 5. I want to make them the same, so I divide this by 11. Get 11, and also get 32. And then 32 to the 5th root is 2, I think. Wait. Yeah, I'm right. So, then I multiply 2 and 11, then it becomes 22, 5, 3, and 11. Now they're the same, so I could add them, add these. And then I get 29, and that's my answer. For this one, you take the fourth root of 81, and you get 3. And then you say to yourself, how many times does 4 go into 16 because it's W to the 16th? So, it goes into 16 four times. And then you ask yourself, how many times does 4 go into 8? And it goes into 2 times. 8 2 times. So, that's your answer. For this one, you basically do the same thing as the last one. So you take the root of square root of 121, that's 11. You say to yourself, how many times does 2 go into 5? That's 2. 2. Yeah, and then there's one left over, but we'll save that for later. Um, how many times does 2 go into n? I mean, not n, 10. And that would be 5. How many times does 2 go into 3? That would be once, so you don't have to write anything. And there's one left over, and now we write um, MP, because there was one M left over, and one P left over, and that would be your answer. So, for this one, it's the exponent over the root, so you just basically multiply everything so you multiply 4 and 1 because that's an exponent and you multiply 6 and 1 because that's a root so then you would get 10 4 over 6 which you could simplify to 10 to the 2 over 3 power and this is a power by the way sorry about that so yeah that's your answer 10 to the 2 over 3 power Draw a smiley face. Okay. For this one, because it's both 14, I, I'm i not sure, but I know you do 14 and then 1 minus 1 eighth. Um, because this is 1 eighth. This thingy. No. Wow, what an arrow. Yes, yeah, so you do that, and then you get 14 to the 7th eighths, and that's your answer. And this is a power. Sorry, that's a power. For this one, you want to find the, I think it's the least common factor of the two numbers that can, that is like a perfect square root of 3 <laughs> to 3, I, I don't know, but basically what you do is you multiply 2 and 108 and you get 216 to the third root and that would equal 6 and that would be your answer. For this one, because they are both um, square or root 4, um, I just drew a ginormous root 4, and did 486 over 6 in the middle, and that simplifies to root 4, um, 81, and then that equals 3, and that would be your answer. 
For this one, I did the same thing as the last problem since they are both root 5. You just draw a giant root around them. And then, um, you're supposed to simplify it, but you can't simplify it anymore. So then this would be your final answer. So for this one, I want to multiply the top and the bottom by, um, 3 minus, um, square root of 5, and I did minus right there because you want to do the opposite of this sign when you're multiplying. So then I got 15 minus 5 square root of 5 over 9 minus 25, and then I simplified it, and the top would stay, um, because, and you cannot simplify the top, you cannot, um, subtract the 5 from the 15 because the 5 is with the square root of 5 so don't do that um, but you can do the bottom so it would be 9 minus 5 and that would be 4 and this would be your final answer because you can't simplify it anymore okay bye